Hi students. Um, today we're doing a quick grammar video thinking about the phrase gotta. Uh, what we're gonna review in this video, what we're gonna, what we are going to. What we're gonna review in this video is the phrase gotta, how we came to have this phrase in English, what's considered the formal and what's considered the informal with this phrase, um, and different ways that we might hear it or use it. In another video, then we're gonna practice a dictation using gotta, okay? So we're starting thinking about the grammar of gotta. This is a very informal piece. It's very casual. It's considered slang. It is not considered correct grammar. Usually I'm not seeing this used in formal writing. I do see this in text message writing, um, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, any of the programs that you're using for sending messages back and forth, I absolutely see people write gotta. I do hear people, even in formal situations like a job interview, um, a formal presentation, I'll hear people use gotta. Um, written, however, most of the time just very informal writing. So how did we make this gotta? Gotta began from the sentence, I have to, and a verb is being put into this position. I have to travel. I have to work. I have to see. And the, the desire was to add emphasis, to add strength to this sentence. So not just that I have to, but I really have to. I've got to became my sentence. Um, my sentence, I have to buy some milk. Maybe I said it yesterday, I have to buy some milk, and I forgot. I said it again, I have to buy some milk, and I forgot. Finally, I want to give some more strength to this sentence. So I say, I have got to buy some milk. There's no choice. It feels less optional compared to I have to. I've got to feels really strong. However, to hear it separated out, I have got to, is less common. It's a lot more common to hear somebody say, I've gotta, I've gotta buy some milk. I've gotta buy some milk. And then even more informal and more academically incorrect, people say, I gotta, I gotta buy some milk. I gotta buy some milk. And I know that we see got, and got is past tense. Today I get a job, yesterday I got a job. So it looks like I have present and past mixed, but it's not past tense. It's being used to add emphasis to my present tense. In fact, we never use this with past. I had gotta, mm -mm. I will have gotta future, mm -mm. never. I only hear this with present tense. Present simple tense. I have got to. I've gotta. I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta buy. I gotta travel. When we hear this um, with I, we also hear I, I gotta, I gotta travel. You, you gotta. We gotta. And they gotta. And let's look at these ones next. You've gotta be on time. You gotta be on time. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be on time. We have got to travel. We really must. We have got to travel. We gotta travel. We gotta travel. They have got to finish their work. No more choice. They have got to finish their work. They gotta finish their work. And I will also hear, for example, this sentence, they gotta finish their work. Um, when somebody has already expressed this, I might hear them cut and just say, they gotta, you gotta. If I'm giving a, a really strong, you must, you gotta. You gotta call me, you just gotta. You gotta be on time, you gotta. We gotta go, we gotta. When we come to he and she, 
Of course, the have is becoming has because I have to, I have to, but he or she has to, it has to. She has to work this afternoon. Again, adding the got to give emphasis. She has got to work this afternoon. She doesn't have a choice. Becomes she's gotta, she's gotta work. And here we never, we never delete the has. It never becomes she gotta work, never. It stays she's, she's gotta work. He's gotta go. It's gotta be. You've got to try harder at school if you want to succeed. You've got to try harder at school. You got to try harder at school if you want to succeed. I got to clean my house today before we're going to be traveling. I got to clean my house today before we're going to be traveling. He's got to tell his wife if he's going to be late. He's really got to tell his wife if he's going to be late. Before we finish out our review of gotta, we gotta jump in and talk about a really informal way that gotta is often used in common American conversation. Um, my next phrase, there's almost no grammar underlying this phrase. It's really bad. Um, combined together grammar. This, what do you got to do? What do you got to do after class? It doesn't make any sense because gotta, got to, belongs with have. I have got to. It doesn't make any sense to say I do got to. It, do, it doesn't make any sense um, grammatically. But I hear people say, I do got to go when they want to give emphasis to it. I do got to call you back. Um, I do got to finish that work to give emphasis with the do. Another way that I hear gotta in very, very informal usage um, is this phrase of do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Um, often this phrase is used to describe, for example, a uh, a struggle, a bad situation, and somebody's maybe complaining or arguing about this is too difficult, this is too uh, frustrating, the struggle is too much, and then somebody says, just do what you got to do. Do what you need to do. Do what you have to do. Do what you got to do. So quick notes to review this piece of gotta. Remember that gotta began as I have to slowly became I have got to, became I've gotta, lazy we dropped the have and it became I gotta. Remember this is very informal. This is adding emphasis and strength. I really want to make a stronger sentence. I must, I have to, I gotta. It's only used in the present. I'm not hearing this in the past. Even though got looks like past, I'm using it for present tense. We are cutting, we are dropping the word have with I, you, they, and we as the subject. So I have got to, I gotta go, you gotta go, they gotta go, we gotta go. But we are keeping the has with he, she, or it. Although you'll hear it reduced down, contracted down to the S. He's gotta, he's gotta work. She's gotta, she's gotta be. It's gotta, it's gotta change. It's gotta get better. It's gotta get easier after some time. Okay, let me know in the comments, how is this piece for you? Try out some sentences down below using gotta. Remember that gotta is really informal, but it is something that we should know how to use so that when our coworker, manager at work, um, landlord, classmates are using this, we are understanding it. Um, next video I'll be making and putting up for us is going to be a dictation.
using gotta. Watch for that. It should be dictation number 10 on the channel. All right. See you later, students.